Trevor Levin and we have produced Carrie's album. I, I'm Carrie and I, I, I sang on the album. <laughs> and I'm Mark, I'm the other half of Trevor Levin. So you've literally just sung some tracks from your album. I have, I feel a bit sick still, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded amazing, how did you the audience loved it? Yeah, I mean it's, a, it, it's so lovely because it's an audience filled with all of my family and friends and did you see my mum afterwards, she bur burst straight into tears and then I burst into tears. Oh, I can't take her anywhere. Um, but yeah, it's so lovely because it's just a, it's an audience filled with people who love me and who I love, and so it was just nice to really be up nice there with a supportive it vibe. Awesome. It was lovely. The album went from basically north to 157 days. <laughs> yeah. Tell us how do you kind of sit around and have a cup of tea one day? And was it, like, hey, it literally. Was literally, that we was in a cafe. Mm -hmm. Let's do an album. Okay. Sure. Tracklist. Tracklist. This, this, okay. This, this, and yeah. Then we it just off. happened, didn't yeah. it? <laughs> that was it? Yeah, it was literally, 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 literally. And, that, and that was the first week in January. It was literally a conversation in a little bakery slash mm. tea shop and then a couple of weeks ago we were holding it. I think there's two two key people who really made that happen and that was Tom Barnes, the arranger oh, orchestrator, yeah. and James Knight, who was the uh, mix engineer who, who, who put the whole album together. And those two really uh, just made it happen and I think the most incredible thing about this album is that everybody invested in it not in just a kind of this is another gig for us this is another job but everybody properly truly mm. believed in the product believed in the album and, and really really put everything into it so that much was time wonderful. so much time yeah. it's, uh, and love it's so much yeah. time and uh, love yeah, I think and that's that's the key thing for me is that everyone working on it was so warm and just so supportive and loving yeah. of each other and the project well, all just the, you know, PR through to design through yeah. to styling through to production Absolutely. Even the people who printed the CDs, everyone really pulled together. Kind of built a dream team, yeah. really, didn't we? Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> actually want to work with anyone else in the room. So how is it to add recording artists to your already, all your skills? <laughs> 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 oh, I've not thought about it, thank you. I've not thought about it yet, because I just, I... Oh, I mean, if tonight is anything to go by, I just freak out so easily about everything, but mostly being on stage as myself and not having something to hide behind. So I'm just trying desperately not to think about it until suddenly it's all on top of me this weekend. Tell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so me a bit more about Club Eleven. How did that happen and what is it you guys do? Yeah, take the heat off me. Come on guys, well, come on guys. Well, I guess Club Eleven started about two and a half years ago. Um, a complete accident really, wasn't it? It was. So Shoshana Bean wanted to come to London to do a concert but had no one to produce her. I've known her for a while and it was like, should we do it? Mark, do you want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. And we've done 50 concerts since then. And we've got some big ones coming up. I think, I it's think- It's been a bit crazy. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a really crazy two and a half years. And I, and I think the key thing about what we've done is surrounded ourselves with people who we trust and who we respect and really learned <clears throat> the industry and learn kind of how to do it. We cut our teeth mainly at the Hippodrome. Most of the shows we produced have been there and now we're moving to the Cadigan. We've got some shows lined up this year that are again in a bigger venue than that. So, you know, we really tried to do it step by step and and learn how to do it properly, mm. treating people the correct way, yeah. you know, rather than just jumping head head yeah. first into but a show we did, But Albert we did Hall. jump in head first with great names like Titus Purgis and Jeremy <laughs> Jordan and Matthew Morrison. Etc. Et and Michael Ball even here. So yeah, we we, we have lucky. had some really average performers. Come to <laughs> London but I think I want to jump uh, in and say the thing with you guys though is that you're so nice to work with, and I think that's thank so. You. I think it's just so rare. You like you know you get people who are so talented and so good at what they do, and then they turn out to not be very nice people. And I think you guys are such an exception to that rule. Like, oh. I love you guys, and I love working with you guys. <laughs> Look, he's gonna cry again. <laughs> Great. Twice this week. <laughs> and then we've broken him a little bit. <laughs> you said you've got some other big people coming up. We have. Good. We've got um, we've got Megan Hilty in June, which is only about eight weeks away, mm -hmm. which we're thrilled about. Um, we have uh, the first outing of the Light Princess since it's uh, run at the National with Rosie and Hadley, which is uh, I'm so I excited about. Yeah, of course, yeah, you can see that. So excited about that, and then. The lady who started it all. The lady who started it. We're bringing Shoshana Bean back oh. with a bit 18 piece jazz band. Cash. Casual. <laughs> Cash. And then we have two other very big ones which we're going to announce in the next few weeks. Yeah. Very, very big. Cryptic. Me again. Me again. Yeah. 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 Where can we find your album? How These guys are better off doing that. Everything you know is going out right? of my head. Yeah, yeah. When the curtain falls. www.whenthecurtainfalls.co.uk 
uh, everything is on there, the book, the album, the concert, uh, concert tickets, the track carries, list, carries photos, everything is on there. <laughs> the outfits you wore to know. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that actually will be on there eventually. There. <laughs> yeah. He's working on it guys, he's working yeah, on it. Okay.